barely 20 and all have a dream in mind, becoming paratroopers. In the previous episode, the young recruits arrived at the barracks. Spirited during selections, Jeremy Lescalier gets his first taste of rigor. Bedroom. Attention. Corinne Gobert, the young mother, is having a hard time being away from her little boy. I'm gonna hang tough for him. Christopher English, the army brat, got the best results in the recruitment tests. For him, all is clear. Well, by mom. Away from her family, Marie Charlotte Festino has quickly found her marks. <laughs> but physical training hasn't started yet. Serious business begins. Will they be able to hang tough? Now, it's time to get serious. Tonight, the young recruits set off on their first mission. Got your weapon? No. You're useless. I made a mistake. First mission and first error for Jeremy. He forgot his gun. Corporals, verify this for me. Cadet Lescalier reporting, sir. At ease. Your firearm number hasn't changed since the handover, so you need to know it. You'll have this firearm for the three months. Yes, sir. First and last time. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, it's real now. Let's see what men are made of. Let's see what women are made of. It should be five kilometers, but considering what we packed... Stop imagining things. We've got five kilometers to walk, that's all. Yeah, with a sleeping bag. It's because you need the bag on your back to learn how to walk, guys. Stop imagining the worst. Five kilometers is fine. It is. I prefer that. Well, clearly it's going to straighten us out. Are the guys imagining things? A bit. It's annoying. That's guys for you. Yeah. It's 7.38 p.m. You were supposed to leave. To march. At 6.30 p.m. You're more than an hour late. Because you take your time. You don't have time to take time. This is it. The first week of looking into each other's eyes is over. I'll be on your back all the time, and so will my officers. So start pulling your fingers out of your asses. If you don't want me to do it, take them out. No one will talk the whole way. No one will talk. Okay? I'll tell you, I'll walk behind English. English? Okay. And then we'll change, we'll switch. All clear? Yes, Sergeant. Let's go. Before the walk, a first exercise for Corinne Gobert and the others, secure the perimeter of the barracks. Go replace Gobert up front. The purpose of the lesson, teach future soldiers how to advance while protecting each other. It's more the rangers that are rubbing on my heels and making them swell up. Blisters? Yeah. And it hurts. Because the more you walk, the more it rubs. I don't know what state my feet will be in tonight. This means speed up. They got almost brand new rangers. So the feet need to get used to the rangers. So doing five kilometers is already going to hurt them a bit. There'll be some minor injuries. The gun in patrol position, I know your arms hurt. The famous 3.780 kilo. The walk only lasted an hour, but it's already too much for Corinne Gobert. But do you remember what you told me yesterday? Remember? You told me you'd make it to the end. Yeah, but that's the way it is. When you're down, you're down. Yes, but when you're down, you get back up. You get back up. You get back up. But you know what? You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Raise your head, Gobert. 
If I, as group leader, start crying because I've got a lot on my plate, because my feet hurt, my legs hurt, or because I've got a lot on my mind, you, you can go off to bed. And you'll make no further progress and the mission's dead. You need to be aware of that. So if I, at 30, take you from point A to point Z, and I pull my fingers out, rudely said, okay? I'm asking you, between 18 and 20, to pull it out of your ass, your hand, and really pull it out. Crudely speaking, I hope everyone understood. Yes, Sergeant. Okay, stay with us, okay? Don't leave us, okay? Well, good. We're counting on you. Yes. Okay. Come on, pull yourself together. You see? Was I making it up when I said there were 52 of us? And that you weren't alone? Nobody's alone. Come on, guys. Okay. I'll take this. And you take her to her room? Good night. Good night. Assemble. Shit. Quick, assemble, guys. Come back down. Assemble at the sports hall. Come on now, outside. Belt and cap. Die, Marie. They're crazy. Me? I'm not going down. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going down. Come on. Put your thing there. Where's your cap? Where's your cap? Stop it. Where's your cap? I don't fucking know. Come down or I'll lock you up. Just come down. I can't believe it. They're killing us. No, they won't kill us. You've got legs. Use them. There you go. That's all. Whatever. Don't think. Go. Just go. Fuck. What the hell are we going to do downstairs at this hour of the night? I just can't. Go, go, go. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. They're waiting. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Go. Go. Run. 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 Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Run. Guys, you've just completed a five-kilometer walk. Sorry, four kilometers, 750. Some of you are already out of order. Some of you are already ineffective and of no use to me. Being a paratrooper is a state of mind. You get on the plane, you go through the door, you reach the ground, and the real mission begins. If you can't walk five kilometers today, without the mind taking over, it's bad. Group leader's orders. What's up with you? I'm feeling down, Sergeant. Feeling down, we all get that, right? I understand that. Why are you so down? Because you've got no news? Your feet hurt? No, that's not all. Civilian problems? I miss my son. Perfectly normal. You knew what you were doing. Yes, but... Calm down. Stay calm. You were well aware and prepared, I suppose, before coming here. To do this thing, you knew you were going to be far from him, that you weren't going home right away. You knew you were bound to do some physical stuff. And this was nothing yet. You need to be very aware of that. I know it's hard. You haven't seen anything yet. I too have children waiting for me at home. And I too won't be kissing them tonight because they're already in bed. I'm open to talking too, calm down. Calm down, take a deep breath. I'm happy to talk to you, but I don't want each night to be like this. So lay your head down this evening, sit there and think about it, look at your photos and take a deep breath, okay? But don't do this to me again. Remember you've just entered the profession of arms, even if you're destined for something other than a combat company, which I also fully understand, okay? There's no problem, at first you have to go through this, you get that? Yes. All good? Are you feeling better? I'm better. Okay. Okay? Go back up to your comrades. Come on. Good night, Sergeant.
Carmen 2 section assembled, reporting for duty, Chief. Carmen 2, on my command, at ease. This is it, we're off. Okay. First field trip. Uh -huh. We're off to the Ville Marie camp, which is south of Carcassonne. Carcassonne. In a few minutes, you'll climb into the trucks. But before that, we're going to collect the precious thing that's cutting you off. That connects you to the outside world, meaning your cell phone. We'll keep it with us. And when I decide stopwatch in hand, you'll have one minute to call. I hope they're charged. Yes, sir. Good. Names on it. They say if you don't have a head, you have post-it notes. Go get it. Corinne, the cell phone, is that a hard blow for you? It's me. I'm having a hard time. But I'm not allowed to cry. If I do, I'll get the crap kicked out of me. So I take a deep breath and put it all aside, as they say. I'm going to hang tight. Come on, folks, it's your first time. That's how it is. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Don't leave any space. Comfortable? Yes, Sergeant. Your gun between your legs, barrel up. Shut up in the truck. We don't want any noise the whole trip, okay? We're not going to camp. Give me your walk. No Walkman, no cell phone. We're not going on hunt. In a military camp cut off from the world, they will learn to live like commandos. For 10 days, no toilets, no showers, and to sleep in, only a hut. I thought it was really outside. It's fine. We have planks and a roof. No, it's good. It's cute. We didn't tell you you were going to sleep in it yet. Don't start believing that. There are huts, but we'll see if we sleep in them. We don't know. Make a hole about 50 centimeters, then fill it with rocks. You put extra earth in between, and it makes a mortar system. So we'll be raising and lowering the flag, just like in the regiment. It's a tradition, part of a tradition that needs to be kept, because we hardly ever do it anymore. Above all, the new generations need to see this. Because they shouldn't come here for the pay, to get a job. It should really be because they want to be in the military institution. No attention. No worries at the moment. We'll do it tomorrow, guys. We'll teach you. We're going to see La Marseillaise tonight. The French national anthem. So this song was written during the revolution by Roger Delisle. Roger Delisle, okay? Let me remind you that you've all been to a soccer or rugby match before, and that it's a song that's sung at the start of a match. And because our French players unfortunately don't sing the song, our little soccer boys or rugby men don't sing the song. No one sings along. Quite often, we're even used to booing it. It's the French national anthem. Okay, so everyone should know it. It's unacceptable that we don't know the French national anthem. Allons enfants de la patrie. Three, four. Allons enfants de
didn't hear anything. I heard more of Sergeant Orgeray or Sergeant Thomas behind me than the whole troop. De la, de la troupe. I didn't say to yell it, but there are 66 of us here. Présent. So we need to hear it. They have to hear us in Carcassonne. No wanking under the covers. No, there won't be. Because then it'll stick. Where do you put the rifle? Behind there. In the sleeping bag. In the sleeping bag? We'll walk by. Don't worry if we see one. Do you sleep with your rifle? Even if it'll be up my ass. Yes, with me. Even summer camps, I've never seen people sleep so close. Lescalier, come sleep here if you want. He's like in an igloo. He's in igloo mode. Who? Him. Squeezed in igloo style. That's you. You wake him. Then he wakes me. I wake you up and you wake them up. For the first night in the field, Jeremy Lescalier has been appointed to take part in the watch. Use logs, not twigs. It's just to get it going again. Okay. I know about campfires. I've made them all my life. I'm telling you tomorrow the fire still has to be there. Yes. At least until 2 o'clock it'll be there. Yeah. Well, anyway, spread the word. Yes. Don't worry. You seem to like it. Yeah. I like it. It's the first time I've done it too, standing guard with a rifle. It's not every day we've done it. You enjoy having responsibilities. That's it. I haven't had many in my life, so... So I'm glad I'm here, and that my family can at least see that I can be a good person. Because in civilian life, I didn't only do good things either. I did some, but I didn't only do good things. So I know that my father up there, he's watching me, and he's proud of me. Hurry up! Assemble with backpack and weapons. Hurry up! You've got five minutes to get ready. Five minutes. Get your backpack. Get up, get up! Get your gun. This isn't normal. Why are some already ready and others aren't? Hurry up, you don't need to take your floor mat with you. Here. Is it rough? Yes, well... You were asleep? Of course. What time is it? 20 past midnight. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero! My goal tonight was to prove to you that operational readiness is permanent. At any time, you can be asked to intervene anywhere. Stop putting your floor mats in your bags. I don't give a shit. You won't sleep anyway. Stop packing your fleece in your bag. It's not even cold. Am I wearing fleece? Something to sleep. A change of clothes. Something to eat. Some light to see. And that's it. Before going to bed, you pack your bags. Yes, Sergeant. Snore. No, I don't snore. So you were breathing hard. Well, I'm going to put my fleece away. You've got three minutes. Three minutes. So go ahead, don't be afraid, get it everywhere. Come on, spread it out, don't be shy. It's not face cream. It stinks. Don't forget the lips. You don't have to make flowers or lines like you see in the movies. It has to be mostly green in the first place. And then break up the features of the face with some lines to blend in with nature and avoid doing things that stand out too much. Like black around the eyes or around the mouth. That's what stands out the most. While his comrades are already wearing their makeup, Jeremy Lescalier is a little too slow in setting up the targets for the first live fire session. He's getting on my nerves. He didn't get it. Come on, run a little. Come on, little chickens. For fuck's sake, you're soft like a flan. My impression is that he's soft. 
Il est mou. So I'm not saying he's originally soft, but he's not doing his share of the work. We've already told him. When we explain it to him, he does well, but now he's got to listen. Bring me the stickers. The problem is that he often has his head in the clouds. Give them here, and now you can get in the truck. We'll have to be careful and be constantly on it. But he could become a very good infantry. going to do it to you. Why do you have to be constantly on him? Because he wasn't mothered, in a way. He's like me. He grew up an orphan, so he's always had to fend for himself. So he knows the solutions, meaning he knows what he's doing. Contrary to what we think. So that's why we're going to be a little more on it. Because just coming from that background, he'll need us to get behind him. But when he understands what we've explained to him, I think he'll play it straight. I'm not worried about him. So same thing for the makeup. You need to redo it at times. When you walk, you sweat. It comes off a bit. You have to put some back on. Tense before shooting? No, not at all. There's no tension. Well, I don't know why we should be tense. It's not the first time I've fired a live round. Good shooting position. Breathing is essential, gentlemen. Good breathing means good shooting. It's a little scary. Really? Yeah. You're scared? Yeah. Why are you afraid? I'm afraid of doing something stupid. Come on, focus. Pay attention to your breathing. Pay attention to everything you do, your fingertips. Come on, get up, guns behind your back. To the results, follow the group leaders. I don't think I got even one. I don't give a damn about the sides. I'm looking at the guy and he's laughing. He's laughing. You can put your hands up. You're in his sights. His side's worthless. How much? Zero. Pretty much like everyone else, apart from the regulars. So that's eight for her. Yeah, out of ten, that's good. Good, yes, that's good. Thank you, Sergeant. I killed him. It's a tense score. Yeah, out of ten, it's nice. Happy? Yeah. It turns out you're a good shot. Yeah, but I don't really like it. What don't you like? I don't like the contact with the gun. I don't like it, because when you have a weapon like that, you think you can use it to kill. It's horrible. That's what joining the army is. Some jobs are more or less made for that. Even if you don't have the gun, you'll be helping people who do. Yes, for sure. I killed the guy here. Thinking about it? Yeah, of course. What are you thinking? I hope it won't happen often. Because it actually feels weird to have a gun in my hands. Who's this? Les Scalier. Les Scalier, Chief. Les Scalier, Chief. Stop looking at me with those fried whiting eyes, because I'm going to slap you so hard your head will spin a full rotation. Is there a problem? No chief. Where'd you hit the guy? So here's the problem. You most certainly have a lack of breathing. A lack of focus on your weapon. And certainly a shooting position that sucks too. Yes, chief. So focus on shooting at the base of your target so that you can pull your shot up. Tough? Mm. Tough? No. They're just words that have already been absorbed, that's all. 
He's not my father. He's nobody to me. I don't care. He's nobody to me. He's just my teacher, that's all. He's like a normal boss in civilian life. They think they're the kings of the world because their rank says chief. But this is what you wanted, Jeremy. When you said you wanted a framework, a structure, this is the structure of the army. Yeah, but I didn't think it was that hard. I thought there was a little more slack. Apparently, I was wrong. The shooting session is over, and Jeremy's not out of the woods yet. Go get some wood instead of staying here. No, I'm helping you. No, don't help me. I'll do it myself. This fucking sucks. The fucking gun. The gun is driving me mad. It moves too much, and it's driving me mad. There, the gun's moving, and it's breaking my balls. The first goal is to get it going. Then, when we have embers... Jeremy is about to make a mistake that could cost him his life in wartime. For the second time, he leaves his rifle lying around. L'Escalier, haven't you forgotten something? Where is it? Aren't you supposed to have it with you at all times? The rifle, where is it? The sergeant took it. Which sergeant? The chief. Beat it. Go get your rifle. Beat it. Yes, sergeant. What's that? My gun, sir. No, it's a famas. An assault rifle. It's a weapon of war, asshole. So where's your gun? On me at all times, sir. So why isn't it on you at all times? Where is it? Let's get it. So your gun, you take it, and you keep it. Yes, sir. That clear? Yes, sir. I have one more thought for you. You suck. Yes, sir. Beat it. Thank you, sir. So listen, we've been here two, three days. Every day I hear about you at least four or five times from my colleagues outside the group. One more thought from you. Do you hear what I'm saying? One more thought from you. Until next Friday. And I'll nuke your head, got it? Yes, Sergeant. Some don't want to, but I'll nuke your head. Did you get it in your little head? I'm not your father, your big brother, or your cousin. I'm your sergeant. Next time, I'll nuke your head. I will hit you. Do you know what it means to be hit? Yes, Sergeant. I'll get this through your skull, blow by blow. Got it? You may be 10 centimeters taller than me, but I'm going to break you in two and destroy you. Got it? Yes, Sergeant. I don't need a guy like you. You're a drag. You know what that is? It's a wreck you drag along. You're breaking my balls. It's not me making a comment. It's the boss. I'm having a drink and he tells me, L'Escalier, are you on it or should I? Do you think that makes me happy? No, Chief. Hey! I'm not a Chief. I'm a Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Got it? Yes, Sergeant. If you continue, I swear to you, this is nothing. Next time, I'll hit you in the face. Yes, Sergeant. Now beat it. You've only got two minutes left to eat. You're gonna stand guard. Clean up your mess, take your gun, and where your gun was, you stand guard. You wait for me to come get you for training. If you move, I'll take you apart. Beat it. I'm quitting the army. They do it on purpose to see how you react. They don't think I can do it, do they? He kicked me in the leg. He hit you? Yeah, he kicked me in the leg. Don't worry, I'm not talking. I'm just unmanageable. Don't pay any attention to what they say. They just want to push you over the edge. It's all right. He's got his contract. That's all. It ends there. It's not my father who's going to hit me. It's not my brother. He said it very well. He wants to hit me. We'll see. We're in the army. I don't give a fuck. Just wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to remove a part of your body, sorry. It's fine. This one is to light the shelter tonight. It'll light up the shelter. 
It was a bit rough with Jeremy. L'Escalier? So far, we've been nice to him, but it's not working out, so I'm moving on. I'm not a social person, so I'm moving on. I hope it works out. Do you think it can? Yes, it'll work. It's going to work because eventually he's going to bend. Jeremy, you look upset. It's useless. I need to calm down, otherwise I'll start crying and it'll all go to hell, so. They put a label on it, the Joker of the Troop. They're testing him psychologically. Jeremy's strong in the head. Very, very strong. I don't think there's much that can destabilize him. Do you think he'll last? It'll be hard to take this regularly. Yes, I think Jeremy will hold. Honestly, he's a real morale booster. He's always got a lot of energy. He's a good guy. Don't the military see that? I don't know. I don't know. He's not mature in his head. He's 19, but he's a bit of a child in his head. But hey, we all mature at one time or another. He'll have to be a little quicker. Snipers. Hidden traps. As the training progresses, the exercises are brought closer to the reality of a conflict. For the moment, no danger. The grenades are made of plaster. After five days in the field, it's time for evaluations. Marie Charlotte Festino is the first to take to the course. Get in position. Report. Straight in line with my arm, about 10 meters away. A man on the right of the path. I think I hit him. Be clear in your report. He's not a man, but personnel. We always talk in personnel. Clear? Received, Sergeant. So far, it's going well. Careful with your gun, okay? Patrol position. Good. Report. Personnel down, Sergeant. Okay, that's good. It does not mean you won't screw up next time. Yes, Sergeant. You have a faculty, you girls. I'll give you that, even if I am sexist. To retain, shall we say, the canvas. It's true that once we tell you direction, distance, objective, landmark, it's all memorized. The physical part remains to be seen, that's all. For sure. Any enemies you come across, you'll have to destroy. Clear? Yes, Sergeant. Okay, resume your mission. Christopher English has been warned. The enemy can be anywhere. Get in position! Okay, stop shooting. I surrender. Don't shoot. I surrender. Report! The person seems to be neutralized, Sergeant. Neutralized or destroyed? Destroyed, destroyed sir. Destroyed. Are you sure? I have to go to be sure. Go see, then. The person I had to take care of is still breathing and moving. Respire encore et bouge encore. Come. He is certainly badly hurt, Sergeant. Are you sure? Certain, Sergeant. Okay, resume your mission. You started from nothing. Normally you have a certain level. Now it's up to you to make use of it and show what you can do. Yes, sir. You're advancing without caution. Immediately fire back, if necessary. Chef Amarger himself is supervising Jeremy Lescalier. Blast him up a bit. Fire, he's not dead yet. Fire a good load, then bang. If he doesn't react, he's dead. Okay? Then let's pretend that he reacts. Because he's tough and it doesn't hurt him. What do you do? I shoot again. If he just reacts. Yes, sir. If he starts to breathe and moans, don't shoot him. Because we can't shoot him. Yes, sir. You know why we can't? Yes. Why? Because we're subject to conventions. Yes. Okay? To international rules. 
Yes, sir. So we don't shoot them. On the other hand, if the guy reacts, if he starts to get up and wants to confront me, then bang, I give him a little shot, a little pill of nine again. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, react. I'm out of bullets. Well, then you go bang, bang if you're out of bullets. Let's go. Resume your mission. Three months is short to learn all this, to be a good fighter. Everything we teach them is very short. We do them in short periods of time, in short periods of instruction. But they have to learn fast indeed, because they're soon called up for operations. Position yourself on the left. Do you usually come across civilians? It's not a common thing, no. Especially on military grounds. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Now I know where you go for mushrooms. <laughs> it's for the asparagus. Asparagus, okay. What do you want to do then? Because I heard rumors. Huh? So tell me, because I know everything. I know, sir. So why do you want to leave? I don't get it. It's hard for me. For me, I've never been through what we've been through. Do you think the rest have been through what you've been through? Well then, it's no harder for you than it is for them. That's me. Uh, That's you indeed. And I have my point of view and honor. Except L'Escalier, the problem is that it's a bit difficult. So you give up. Because we put pressure on you, because from time to time you have to endure a bit what we're doing. And now you're giving up and don't want to anymore, is that it? A little, sir. Yeah, well, it's a shame. That's not the way to get ahead in life, big guy. I know, sir. They're a bit like sharks in the civilian world, too. Well then. If it's really your choice, too bad. Too bad for you, I'd say, because I've got nothing to gain and nothing to lose. Starting next week, we'll talk. You'll see the captain. Yes, sir. You'll write your contract negotiation letter. And within three weeks, you'll be leaving the institution. Yes, sir. While the procedure goes through. Patrick, are you disappointed? I can't be disappointed. I train young recruits. If they want to leave, they want to leave. I can't hold them back. Because the idea is to make soldiers. And if people stay against their will, I prefer that they leave. If they want to leave, it's because they've thought it through. There's no disappointment to be had, because the people who stay are the ones who really want to stay. If they really want to leave, we mustn't force them to stay. OK, go join your group. Yes, sir. Go on. Huh? Take position. Yes, sir. Until I call you back. Yes, sir. Disaster. This is the best part of the day. Move over! It's cold in here. Guys, don't fight. Hey, easy, easy. It's slippery. It's freezing. I've never jumped into water this cold. Damn, even our rivers aren't that cold. Where are you from? Tahiti. Is this your first time here? Yeah. I'm only from Paris. The water's cold for me. There's someone from Tahiti. He might shoot himself. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. A bit intense. But yeah, it's nice. It's a nice change from Paris. Sore feet? Just a little. But my feet have been hurting for a long time, so... I grit my teeth. There's no point in self-pity. Pain is in the head. Pain is in the head. A saying that Chef Amarjo will apply this evening. For the walk, we have three maps at 25 thousandths, and the rest are maps at 50. The walk is roughly four kilometers on the map. 
on the ground. It's about eight kilometers long. I just calculated with the GPS. We're immediately on a climb, so let's avoid increasing the pace. I'm sure that some of them will get lost on purpose. <laughs> They'll do it on purpose. Sorry, we've lengthened the walk by three or four kilometers. Too bad. When we do the long march, it's 120. It's not 100? 120. 120 kilometers in three and a half days. It's a short 40 kilometer walk a day, that's all. That's all. I do that every morning to warm up. <laughs> I dare anyone to jump on the moving truck. Who's in? I think everyone would dare. <laughs> She's the only girl who doesn't complain. That's good. Are you in a good group? Yeah. We're tight, united. Yeah, they help me a lot. If they didn't help me, I wouldn't last, for sure. We have to. For sure. We can't forget she's a girl. It wouldn't do. Everyone has their place. And if I don't belong in a combat company, that won't work. OK, listen up. Walk without complaint. You'll be in pain anyway. Moreover, you have stupidly heavy bags. Because you've got your padlocks, you've got your three bottles of Vaseline. I don't know what. When you pack them stupidly heavy, you'll go walking with it. So tomorrow, when we do a second or third walk, you'll see that you'll need to pack a little lighter. So the first group is about to leave. Some are carrying over 20 kilos, a handicap for mountain walking. The rest of you are on standby here. And then, when your sergeant arrives, you leave. One foot in front of the other, easy. Breathe. In the lead group, Marie Charlotte Festino and Christopher English. It might rain, but that'll be for later. Breathe deep, Festino. Yes, sergeant. I stick to the sergeant. Like this. I'm sure I keep up. Well, I hope I keep up. You stopped thinking. That's right. If you start thinking about it, you let yourself fall into the grass. Are you impressed by girls in the army? Me? Yeah. Uh, I've always been a bit sexist about it. But it's true that they're needed in certain positions in the army. In combat companies, I've always been a bit sexist. But then look, she keeps up. Well, we're not there yet, but anyway. And why are you so sexist about it? Because I can't conceive of a female section chief who will command me and say, OK, Orgeret, stand there. I'm sexist. Even if she has the same physical abilities? She's going to have to prove a lot to me. Don't slow down, stay bumper to bumper, and keep your mouth shut. If your feet hurt, if your teeth hurt, deal with it. Something wrong with your right foot? Yeah, the leather's going in. Into the ankle. It's fragile, it's normal. That's not going to stop me from walking either. No big deal. And now I've just started a hellish climb. Yeah, so you were down in the tallway, and now you're going back up. Oh, fuck, the ankle! It's the biggest climb you'll make on the walk. Help. Come on! Don't worry. We'll get there together or not at all. Come on, one foot in front of the other. We're almost at the top. You've done the hardest part. The climb was infernal for Christopher English. And it's not over for him, because the sergeant doesn't choose the easiest way back to camp. They're following a planned itinerary. I'm a bit more of a wild boy. Come on! Come on, English! Come! Shut the fuck up! Pain isn't real! Yeah, it doesn't exist for sure. <laughs> 
invent you a new definition of it. You there, get running. No doubt it's English. I can't see you from here, but I know it's you. That's wonderful. Come on, get up. Let's finish this. Pull your fingers out. Run, run, run. We're 500 meters away. Hurry the fuck up. English, you're making me mad. English, get in front. Vestino, my respects. Shame on them. Go! Come on, English. Go, go, in front. Come on! Hurry up, English. Stop dying on me. Come, let's go. Behind me. Come on. Let's go. You can't. You can. Let's go. Even on stumps. Come on, English. Fucking move. Come on. Run, damn it. Come on, English. Behind me. You're too far. May I remind you that you've got a girl on your tail. It's all fun and games, English. Pull your fingers out. You'll tell them all about your campaigns in England. Run. Come on, run. All good, English? Yes. Yes what? Yes, Sergeant. Vestino all good? Yes, Sergeant. There you go. Are you surprised? She's got my respect. Did she bluff you? Not bluff, but she's got my respect. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Aren't we better off when we've arrived? Uh, yes, Sergeant. We had a good walk. I didn't feel anything. So the day I suffer. I think it'll hurt a lot more behind me. Got it? Yes, Sergeant. But you made it in first. All of you. Tomorrow. Not a single one of you complains. Yes, sir. Is that clear English? Is that clear English? Yes, sir. It hurts now, but it won't hurt tomorrow. Because I don't think Festino will be complaining tomorrow. Actually, during the walk, what helped me was that I prayed. You pray and pray. You go straight ahead. Well, for me, it works like this. Christopher, that was hard. Very hard. Especially with two wrecked ankles. Hurry up. We're going to do some stretching. I'll meet you by the fire. In three minutes, assembled. If you're not here in three minutes, we'll do a little warm-up. Come on, guys. For the section. Attention. At ease. Attention. Section assembled at your orders, Chief. Good morning. Good morning, Chief. I can't hear. Good morning, Chief. Uh, now I've heard. Right, let's get back to last night's little sequence. So some of you endured this march very well. And I congratulate them. Because I got the reports. The rest of you, keep your spirits up. And you only keep your spirits up if you smile at all times. But if we're incapable to do what we've done, we leave the institution. We don't need you. The field commands. It's a principle of our institution and of combat. When you'll be in Africa, in the middle of nowhere, and the army doctor will be 200 kilometers away because he can't move or has a whole regiment to control. There'll be no one to help you. Today, we're going to start with a short course, what we call a natural course, meaning we work in field clothes and rangers. T-shirt. Okay? A short course. We're going to do a lot of things. You have 10 seconds to hide. Go! Five, four, three, two, one. I still see some of you, gentlemen. Assemble. Come on, gather around. Come closer. You're too slow. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand. Behind me. Get behind. Shut up! Shut up.
there were tears. I know. We all know that. That's all right. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's get Step out of line. Students, to the monitor. Ah! 